Have you ever found yourself puzzled because Android Auto simply refuses to appear in your apps? This common issue can be a source of frustration. You're ready to hit the road, but your trusted navigation tool is nowhere in sight. But don't sweat it. This problem is not only common, it's also solvable. Stick around and we'll guide you through the steps to get Android Auto back where it belongs. Getting Android Auto back in your apps is a fairly simple process and we're here to guide you through it. First things first, let's ensure that your phone is connected to your car with a USB cable. This is crucial for Android Auto to function properly. Next, let's check if the Android Auto app is installed on your phone. Navigate to your app drawer and look for the Android Auto app. Can't find it? No worries. Just go to the Google Play Store, search for Android Auto, and install it. Now, if you already have the app installed, let's make sure it's updated. Open Google Play Store, search for Android Auto, and if you see an Update button, tap on it. If the problem still persists, let's try clearing the cache and data of the Android Auto app. Go to your phone settings, find apps, look for Android Auto, and then tap on Storage. From there, you can clear cache and data, but if all else fails, you might want to consider uninstalling and then reinstalling the app. It's quite simple. Just long press the Android Auto app in your app drawer, tap uninstall, and then reinstall it from the Google Play Store. And there you have it, the step-by-step -step guide to getting Android Auto back in your apps. Let's quickly recap the steps to solving the Android Auto problem. First, make sure you've got a solid USB connection. Next, confirm that the Android Auto app is installed on your device. If it's there but not showing up, try updating the app. If that doesn't work, you can try clearing the cache and data. As a last resort, uninstall and reinstall the Android Auto app. With these steps, you should be able to get Android Auto back in your apps. Thanks for watching, and remember, there's always a solution to your tech problems.